What is up, Carmination? Welcome to the Super Bowl edition of our free props plays. If you guys have been paying attention to our Twitter and or Instagram and or TikTok and every single else thing that we have that can add a 60-second clip to it, you've seen that for the past seven, eight, maybe even nine weeks now. Uh, Ethan, myself, and then Joey and myself have been putting out these free plays for Monkey Knife Fight and Price Picks, two of our top partners. That being said, I decided to get these two dum-dums on the same one together so we can collectively drop our free Super Bowl LV props. So if uh, you guys probably haven't seen it yet, I'm still working on editing it, uh, but Ethan and myself are going to be putting a podcast uh, on our YouTube, I want to say probably in the next two weeks. This crazy psycho man has made a $100,000 profit on Monkey Knife Fight solely on NFL this year. That is how much fire this man has been on. But without further ado, let's just get right to it. I'll stop talking. I'll let these guys talk. Start off with Ethan. Price picks. What are we looking at for Super Bowl LV? All right. I love a high-scoring affair in this Super Bowl this year. The over-under is 55.5. A lot of money coming in on the over. So I like Mahomes over 325.5 passing yards. Bucks are very good against the run, and they're just kind of middle pack. They rank 21st in the regular season against the pass. I love Mahomes just pass, pass, pass. They don't really have a strong running game. All his weapons what are healthy. What does Mahomes do again? Uh, Mahomes is through. No, I said, I said, I said, what does he do again? Pass, pass, pass. Pass, 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 baby. All he does is pass. I mean, all you got to do is look at their last game. These teams play each other in the regular season. The Chiefs were up 20 to 7 or something at halftime, and they still threw it all second half. So I fully expect them to just throw because they know they can't run on this Bucks defense. And let's be honest. It's Brady, who he's going up against, who should be able to put up points, too. It's going to be a very high-scoring affair. So I love Mahomes in this matchup, and I fully expect him to throw for 400-plus yards. So even if that number goes up, I'm just taking it all day long. Um, on the other side, I like Mike Evans over 14.5 fantasy points. He has been a touchdown magnet this year. He has 13 touchdowns on the year, including two touchdowns this postseason. He leads the team in targets and red zone targets, which is what we're looking for. And I fully expect the um, Bucks to be playing from behind and playing catch up with Mahomes in this game. So I look for Mike Evans to be targeted a lot in that red zone and get at least one touchdown. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets two also. Um, a couple other things I want to take note of. Brait is questionable, tied in for the Bucks. If he were to sit tomorrow, that would move Gronk up a lot on my favorite plays. Um, Gronk is sitting there at 2.5 receptions. I would probably move Gronk ahead of Mike Evans as one of my favorite plays. The other thing to pay attention to, Le'Veon Bell is active and going to be playing tomorrow. I don't know what that does to Daryl Williams. I don't know what that does to Clyde Hare. Um, I'm not touching that running back situation you know, Joey, if you want to touch that running back situation, go right ahead. But I am avoiding the three-headed monster because, you know, I think their production is going to come through the air because I don't think they can run on this uh, Bucks defense front seven. So that's kind of where I am looking at. Joey, do you have anything on prize picks you like or monkey knife fight? Well, um, yeah. off, Joey, just to cut you off there, what is your – so just for you to expend your knowledge – do you agree with the Mahomes over yards and Evans over points, or are you thinking that Ethan is dumb? <laughs> um, I love the over on Mahomes yards, but not because they're going to be winning and still going to be passing. I mean, Tom Brady's just going to annihilate these Chiefs, obviously, because he doesn't lose in Super Bowls uh, to good quarterbacks. So uh, Mahomes is going to be playing from behind and uh, has to throw up at least 400 yards. Um, so... I mean, playing the game script, obviously, uh, obviously the Bucks are going to be winning, uh, and they'll probably get there from some uh, Mike Evans uh, touchdown. So I love the play. Okay, so you're so you're on board on both those overs. So uh, just to repeat for you guys watching, we have uh, Mahomes over three twenty five and a half yards, and Mike Evans over fourteen and a half fantasy points. Uh, if you ha are familiar with Price Picks, but you haven't played in a hot minute, uh, when you're like, wait a second. We can do over on passing yards. Yes, they've just recently, in the last month or so, dropped stat over under plays. Um, so you can mix and match with fantasy points and stats and all that other stuff. So we have a two two play here. Uh, make it a power play. You can put up to four hundred bucks on it uh, if your bankroll allows, and um, turn it into a, a twelve hundred dollar win there. Now he also mentioned uh, just to recap the last part before we skip over to uh, anything that Joey likes, just to keep him from stop talking as much as possible. 
Uh, <laughs> but uh, so the last thing was Rob Gronkowski. If Brate sits, Ethan says Gronkowski over two and a half receptions. Joey, the floor is yours. What do you like? Uh, for Monkey Knife Fighter prize picks. You do you, baby. If, you, if you're on prize oh, picks, like, we're, we're on prize picks right now. If you want if you don't like anything on prize picks besides those two overs, go to Monkey Knife Fight, my man. Yeah, I do agree with the uh, – if the if uh, Le'Veon Bell does play, I'll probably be going under on Daryl Williams. That should be probably pretty easy. I, I doubt he plays. Was, though. Uh, anything is rushing yards, is fantasy points. Yeah, you shouldn't oh, get Bell much, is, much Bell is active in playing. He's not on the final injury report. Oh, if he's not on the final injury report, yeah, I doubt Daryl Williams well, gets that much work. So under on everything, there's one thing that I probably wouldn't go under on. He's only at a 1.5 receptions. I feel like there's still a situation he could get two catches and like ruin that prop. So I understand. That is so, the problem with uh, these low props. It's tough to go under on because uh, yeah, 1.5 is like yeah. you're betting on him like not even get to see playing time. Um, <laughs> so uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and hop things over here to uh, Monkey Knife Fights. So. Before Joey starts talking about his favorite play, uh, for prize picks, if you don't have an account and you're like, oh, this is actually cool, and you're just watching this because you subscribe to our YouTube channel and you watch our, our, all of our other uh, you know, DraftKings and FanDuel-related content, go to prizepicks.online, use promo code KARMA, and uh, it'll give you 100% deposit bonus up to 100 bucks. But there's also a neat new feature they're doing. If you are a new sign-up, so if you're signing up right now for the Super Bowl to plug that play in, as long as you deposit the minimum amount of, I think, like 20 bucks, they're going to give you a free Super Bowl 16-16 uh, play. And what that means is that they, they're they doing this certain contest for only any of our uh, people that sign up for the first time using our promo code uh, and doing the minimum deposit of 20 bucks. You can actually uh, – th- it's, it's somewhere on the site. They send you a, a link to it. You, you'll be able to see it when you log in after you deposit. But you pick uh, 16 sides of things. So they give you – here's 16 props – choose your side if you go 16 for 16 and this is free this is just for depositing this is not what you use to deposit on you will literally get a hundred thousand dollars if you get all 16 right a free one hundred thousand dollar play and let's say for example you get like 14 out of 16 right or maybe it was 15 i forgot what the tier is but the next tier is like five thousand bucks even if you have one blemish you're still going to get a couple grand a free hundred thousand play if that's not motivating enough for you to sign up for prize picks that dot online you are a psycho moving on to monkey knife fight same thing monkey knife fight dot online use promo code karma get a free 100 percent deposit bonus we are looking at i believe a kelsey playoff lenny two two there we go <laughs> yeah um so we got uh travis kelsey at 101.5 rece- receiving yards and playoff lenny uh, at 59 and a half rushing yards. I love the over on Travis Kelsey, 101.5 uh, receiving yards, just because he's gone over 100 in each of these uh, playoff games so far. He has a huge 35% target share as well uh, in these games. So you know he's one of uh, Mahomes' favorite targets, uh, even if it turns to uh, receptions, because Monkey Knife Fight changes stuff around. If it changes to receptions, I still love the over uh, up to eight and a half. Uh, And Chiefs have been winning each game this postseason so far. Uh, I'm expecting this game to either stay close all game or for uh, the Bucs to take the lead. So, uh, you know, Mahomes is going to be pass, pass, pass all all game long, like uh, Ethan says. Pass, pass, pass. uh, To correlate along with Ethan's play, uh, if Mahomes goes over, obviously Kelsey's going to go over 100 yards or – uh, Tyreek Hill is going to have another uh, 200 yard first quarter. So one of the two are going to happen uh, for sure. Uh, that's one of the things we like to do uh, over our karma, uh, correlate our props. So uh, Travis Kelsey should be pretty easy to go over that uh, 101.5. And then playoff Lenny, unfortunately, we're going under on his uh, 59 and a half. He's been great this uh, postseason, but uh, Ronald Jones has been slowly taking more and more carries. It's uh, becoming more of a 50 50 backfield now. Um, and it's still projected like he's going to take the bulk of the uh, carries. There is a little worry if the Bucks take the lead. Uh, Leonard Fournette could get a little more work in the running game. Uh, but according to Vegas, we're expecting uh, the Chiefs to be winning. So if that's the case, he's definitely going to be more used in the passing game, the, run- the running game. Uh, and it looks like books are having him more around uh, 47 to 49 rushing yards. So you're getting a little better lines than the books so far. So I love the under. All right, and then Ethan, what are your thoughts on the Kelsey over yards and Lenny, not playoff Lenny, I'm just going to call him Lenny, Lenny under rushing yards. What are your thoughts? 
I mean, Mahomes, baby, you got pass, pass, pass. You got to pass the Kelsey. So I love the Kelsey over. Um, if that does switch to 8.5 receptions, I prefer receptions over yards. But obviously, I'm like, you know, I fight. We don't get to pick the combo. So just pay attention to that. But I do like the yards, too. Um, and then Fournette, same thing. Ronald Jones should be pretty darn healthy. You know, they had a week off. They'll split carries. Fournette is higher than most books in other prop sites. So I agree with that under, especially if the Bucks are playing from behind. Fournette will be used in the passing game, and they won't really run it a ton. It'll be Brady throwing every down. So I, I agree with Joey. That's a good play. All right. And is there anything else, Ethan, a monkey knife fight, that, you, that, that caught your eye or that popped out to you that you want to throw in here? Before we well, uh, wrap this, not what? really. Just because yeah. the price picks numbers are better across the board, uh, Monkey Knife Fight has everybody really high compared to the books and other prop sites. So um, I would just play on price picks. To be honest with you. So you like? So you're saying the numbers are high in terms of you would uh, you would if if you're going to be picking things that not at random but picking other items. There's a good chance that if you you see something, you're probably going to go under because the numbers are so high. Yeah. Uh, no, not necessarily, because Mahomes is at three thirty-five point five passing yards. I still like the over, but he's two twenty. He's three twenty-five on Price Picks, so I would just rather take the over saying. on Price Picks instead. Life's right. too short to go under. Yeah, exactly. It's the Super Bowl. We got to go big yeah. or go home. We got. Come on now. We have life coach Joey in here with some <laughs> with some golden <laughs> statements. Life is too short to go under. Uh, so yeah, so to recap, we have Kelsey over one one oh one point five receiving yards. Um, I believe both of them mentioned that if it does flip to Kelsey receptions, they both like that um, even more. And then playoff Lenny under fifty nine and a half. Uh, Joey was mentioning that a lot of the other sports books have him at like forty seven, which is a huge variance on uh, what you're getting him at right now. Um, but yeah, so remember two different sites here. We have PricePix dot online, Monkey Knife Fight dot online. Go to both of them. Sign up for an account if you don't have one. Use promo code KARMA on either of them or both of them. But PricePix is the one that is giving you that free uh, 100K play for new signups. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Good luck, guys. Make sure that when you win either or both of these plays, if you're playing on both of them, you throw those screenshots up on Twitter, tag our home account at DFS underscore KARMA, and then make sure, uh, if you are a fan of props, to sign up for our prop packages by going to DFSKARMA.com slash shop. Hopefully Tom Brady does not win another Super Bowl because I can't handle that in my life. I might need more life coach Joey statements if that happens. But uh, we'll see you guys. Good luck this weekend.